god! God is trying to get your attention, folks. It's appointed unto man to die once, and then comes the judgment. What will you do when you die and meet the judge? His name is Jesus Christ. By the way, Jesus is not a Mexican. Jesus is not your homeboy. It's time for you to know the God of the Bible. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who was and is and who is to come, the Almighty. Jesus is the supreme authority you will have to give an account to on the day of judgment. And without turning away from your sin, without repentance, there is no forgiveness of sins. It's time for you people to wake up. Time for you people to come to your senses. Stop being so preoccupied with soccer. Stop being so distracted with a ball. It's time for you people to look up to heaven and seek Jesus Christ. Carlos Vela did not die on the cross for your sins. Carlos Vela is going to be judged by Jesus Christ on the day of judgment. Where is Pelé today? Where is Maradona today? Oh, a lot of these celebrities of yours are going to die. A lot of these athletes of yours are going to die. Carlos Vela is not a child of God. You follow Carlos Vela, you're going to end up in hell because Carlos Vela is not promoting Jesus Christ. Many of you people are vile. Many of you people are violent. Many of you people are criminal minded. Many of you people smoke pot. Many of you people are drunkards. Many of you people are sexually immoral. Everything God hates. That's everything God is against. It's time for you people to forsake your evil ways. Forsake your drunkenness. Put down your marijuana. Oh, so many of you are more passionate about a soccer ball than you are about reading the Bible. You idolize Carlos Vela more than you idolize Jesus Christ. You idolize your soccer idols more than God. There's a problem when you people are more passionate about men, mere men, than you are about the Creator, the Maker of heaven and earth. Time is ticking. I hope you're not a Catholic. That pedophile Catholic Pope is going to bust hell wide open. You cannot serve Jesus and follow the Pope at the same time. Either you follow Jesus or you follow that wicked pedophile Pope. You cannot do both. Time for you to take up your cross, deny yourself, and follow Jesus Christ. You were made for God. You were created for God. You were not created to waste your life. This is a useless event. This soccer game is a useless event. You're wasting your time chasing after the win. Meaningless, meaningless. The fact that you come to soccer games like this shows how miserable you are. The fact that you come to soccer games like this shows how hopeless, empty, depressed, meaningless your life is. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. Some of you people are sports fanatics. You're a maniac about sports. You're a fanatic when it comes to sports. Oh, El Chicharito is on his way to hell. Carlos Vela on his way to hell. A lot of these soccer players you adore endorse LGBTQ community. A lot of you, a lot of these soccer players that you love and adore are LGBT enablers, LGBTQ allies. The Bible says that homosexuals will not enter the kingdom of God. Lesbians will not enter the kingdom of God. Transsexuals will not enter the kingdom of God. 
Oh, God is going to cast a lot of Mexicans into hell. A lot of white boys, white men, white women into hell. God is going to cast a lot of black people into hell. Your skin, your race, it doesn't matter. Only those who are born again. Only those who have been transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit can be saved, will be saved on the day of judgment. Oh, Jesus Christ came to save you from your sin. If you're still a drunkard, you're not saved. If you still have a potty mouth, you're not saved. If you're still full of rage, you're not saved. If you're still violent and a pothead, you're not saved. Time for you to get saved. Time for you to be a child of God. Contrary to popular opinion, God does not accept you the way you are. If you want to please God, you need to change your ways. If you want God to be happy with you, you need to transform your ways. Save yourself from this wicked and adulterous generation that we live in. Why is it that so many people come to soccer games and get drunk? Why is it that so many people come to soccer games and they have to be uh, a part of La Porra? A part of, they got to be all wild and angry and full of rage. You people are more passionate for your team than you are about Jesus Christ. It's time for you to lift up the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the name above all names. Instead of screaming, go! You need to be shouting and lifting up the name of Jesus. Oh, God is going to say, go to hell to many of you people. God's going to kick many of you into hell because you reject God. You ignore God. You want nothing to do with God. You turn your back on God. Some of you live as God haters. Why is it that so many of you wear black? The Bible says those who hate God love death. You love darkness. You're filled with darkness. You're filled with wickedness. You're filled with evil. You're dark. You're lost. Jesus Christ came to seek and to save the lost. The majority of people will end up in hell. The Bible says narrow is the way that leads to life and few find it. But broad and wide is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. What is it going to matter if LAFC wins the championship? What are you going to gain if LAFC wins the championship? You're just wasting your money. You're just wasting your time on sports entertainment. Your problem is that you love sports entertainment more than God. You're a sports idolater. You idolize a soccer ball. You're so fixed on a soccer ball. You're so obsessed with a soccer ball. You're so hypnotized with a soccer ball. It's time for you to fix your eyes on Jesus Christ, the author and creator of life, because time is short. Jesus Christ is coming back again to judge the living and the dead. Jesus Christ is coming back and every eye will see him. He's coming back from heaven to earth and Jesus Christ is coming back to judge. He's not coming back as a little lamb who's going to die for the sins of the world. Jesus Christ is coming back to slaughter his enemies. Only the righteous will be spared on that day, while the wicked, the wrath of God will be unleashed on the wicked on the day of judgment. Nothing to smile about when you talk about the day of judgment. I hope you teach your kids the fear of God, because many of you parents are letting your kids go to hell. Many of your parents are allowing your kids to go to hell. And I hope you're married if you're holding her hand. Because if you're not married, if you're a fornicator, the Bible says all fornicators will have their part in the lake of fire. 
You want to have sex? Put a ring on it. You want to have sex? Marry her. Be faithful to her. God created male and female in holy matrimony. One wife, one husband, woman beaters will not enter the kingdom of God. Liberal feminists will not enter the kingdom of God. Pro-abortionists will not enter the kingdom of God. Homosexuality is an abomination. Pornography is adultery. Abortion is murder. Sin is wickedness. Sin is not normal. Sin is evil. Jesus Christ had to die on the cross because of sin. Sin is transgressing God's law. Sin is breaking God's law. Sin is lawlessness. Sin is ignoring God. Sin is living however you want to live. Sin is being a rebel. Sin is being selfish. Sin is living like the devil. A bunch of children of the devil here today dressed in black. Guess what? In the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be dressed in white. In the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be given a white robe. You're not going to be wearing black. You're not going to be wearing an LAFC uh, t-shirt in the kingdom of heaven. In the kingdom of heaven, you're going to be given a white robe. And if you stain that robe, if you're filthy, if you're polluted by sin, if you're corrupted by sin, you will not be worthy to enter the kingdom of heaven. It's time for you people to live in a manner worthy of the cross. Just because God is love doesn't give you a permission to keep sinning. Just because God is love doesn't give you an excuse to live however you want. Just because Jesus died on the cross doesn't mean that you can live a wild sinful life as a party animal. On the contrary, Jesus died on the cross so you would be sanctified. Jesus died on the cross so that you would be pure, perfect, holy, unblemished, like a pure virgin. Jesus died on the cross to transform you. Oh, if the Holy Spirit abided within you, you would not be seeking after vanity. If the Holy Spirit abided within you, you wouldn't need to find fulfillment in soccer. If the Holy Spirit abided in you, you wouldn't need to find excitement in sports entertainment. Time to teach the kids about Jesus. Not the Catholic Jesus. The Catholic Jesus is not the Jesus of the Bible. Jesus is not a European blonde hair, blue eyed Jesus. Jesus was a Jew. And by the way, the Virgin of Guadalupe is a demon. The Virgin of Guadalupe is not even in the Bible. If you pray to the Virgin of Guadalupe, you're praying to demons and you're indulging in witchcraft. All sorcerers will will have their part in the lake of fire. You want to hell Satan? It shows that Satan is your father. You're of your father, the devil. Time for you to repent. Time for you to be converted and transformed into, an, into a child of God.